become a quality hot sauce and they realize that quality costs money. You know, it, it, there's a difference between, look, I, I enjoy Frank's hot sauce. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I have Frank's in the fridge. I do. I have it. I always have some Frank's. Yeah. It's great on wings. I always add something else to it. But, you yeah. know, it's a cheap sauce. It's accessible. But you go and compare that to my Louisiana style sauce. And that's when you'll tell the difference. It's like, wait, there's a hell of a lot more chilies in there. The richer, yeah. rounded yeah. flavor. It's, and that it's cost. It, chilies per pound, man. Like, you know, the, the Swampadelic, it's got more seven pot primo than the premonition. But the premonition has so much labor because we roast everything. We smoke stuff. It's like, that's sure, it's got jalapeno. <laughs> jalapenos are inexpensive, but all the labor and the love. And we're not chasing a Walmart model. I mean, if you are, that's fine. Look, boutique, small batch, uh, craft, call it what you will. That's what we want to be. You know, it's the craft beer model, in my opinion. And it's like, that's my dream is I have my own place right now. I'm using a rental facility, you know, um, but have my own place and do like Louisiana fruits and vegetables and seasonal and do small batch fermentation and just, you know, just fun stuff like that. But yeah. we'll get to it. We'll get that done because I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fans over this side of the world that really want to try your, your stuff. I want to try. I'm, I'm really looking forward. I'll, 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 I'll do a special stuff. series where I'll try each of them. Hopefully, it doesn't hurt me too much. But no, uh, man, looking forward it. to trying it out. <laughs> I'm working on one that's really hot, though, a Primo Army, and I've kind of did some um, some R and D on it and um, prototype prototype type work, and uh, it's it's kind of like like look, man. Anybody can make something hot, but can you make it taste good? And anytime you have 80, 90 percent freaking ultra hot peppers in it, there's going to be some bitterness. So you have to try to like combat that. Yeah. Offset. It's all about balance for for me. Yeah. And, you know, my wife, she's got a palate. She's just, she birthed the premonition. I just kind of like, and the jellies, our pepper jellies, and such. It's just I'm the one that kind of like says, okay, a little bit more of this, or oh, but she's like, she's got the palate that's largely underutilized because she's working a full time job at the university and she's a mom, and you know I'd like to buy her out of her job so that I can have her help out more. Same, same here but, <laughs> with my wife. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we'd be unstoppable. But um, what I was getting at is. I can't remember what I was going to add. That train's just the flavors, the, the, new, the new product. I was going to make oh, a yeah, recommendation because yeah. yeah. one of the big reasons that my channel took off and started growing like it did is I share recipes and I share my process for coming up with new recipes and things like that. Um, one thing, in case you've never tried it, uh, with Super Hots, one of the best ingredients you can add because of how intense it is for such a small thing, cardamom pods. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, well, you get like a little, don't you get a little curry vibe going on there, don't you? But it's such an intense flavor, and it offsets the bitterness of the chilies. It is Look, man, amazing. Give I'll it a try. I have to try, dude. I'll have to give, give you credit try. on that, man. The checks in the mail, the royalty checks are coming in. <laughs> But honestly, it's it's such a I, I I use it I use it too much in a lot of my others. I like every time I come up with a new sauce, I'm like, this needs some cardamom. But yeah, dude, I, I, look, I was I was talking to you know John Hard the other day about that, you know, and and you know, it's like a lot of people just say sugar, you know. So no, nah, nah. but, but it you just know, makes it sweet, and it's, you know that yeah. that karma sauce. Uh, I like karma sauce, Gene at Karma. He's like a he's a former NASA engineer, scientist, nice. worked on Hubble optics, and now he's a hot sauce maker out of New York <laughs> State. Bit of a change. He's still good. He makes some good sauces. His ghost island sauce is like Fatali, ghost, and scorpion, mustard-based, kind of like Caribbean sauce. It's my favorite sauce. Like, my favorite sauce right now. I got to look him up. <laughs> I'm like, that's one of those recipes. I'm like, dude, I wish I made that shit. And I'm going to like, I'm going to make one eventually, but I'm not going to rip them off, but I'm going to like make one with Primo and like, that's on my agenda. It's just amazing. But he, um, he's got one that's, I think it's called burn after eat. It's like, it's one of those hot one sauces. And I think it's got the Reaper in it or something, but it's, uh, I've tasted it and it, it's, it's got a, like an, uh, an Indian vibe, you know, Eastern Indian but vibe. Cumin. I think it has carbon too. So maybe, 
and it wasn't i don't recall it being that bitter at all either but i remember a, a like a, a very kind of like it has asafida on it did i say that right what's that uh, is it asafida asafida it's a look it up man i'm probably saying it all wrong but you know my cajun uh, i'm, the, I'm the king of mispronouncing things well it's it's eastern indian so it's like it's it's something they add to to um to some of their dishes and it's really like it's got a, a very sulfuric smell to it and it's um yeah. it's quite something it's very powerful but look that up I, if i had a bottle right here i'd go to look it up but, um, but you, you mentioned hot ones there, there's a question i have to ask and i know people in the comments would be asking this as well what is your opinion on the pepper x does it the exist pepper x? Do you think it exists? I have my opinions I, on this. I, I think it. I think it. I think it's probably. What well, will let's say? Does the pepper exist, or do or, or do the does, does the pepper it? exist with the claims that have been made about such pepper? I I don't think it. I don't think it's that high. I don't think I haven't. I mean, but I have a reason to disbelieve anybody that makes a claim that has a hot pepper like that and doesn't show the data. Or you don't see, or like Guinness is going to award this, and it never happened. So, uh, I think the pepper exists. I just don't think it's that hot. That's just my opinion. I have no data to say that. You know, some people say it's it's even before it came out. Man, I had people telling me, "Oh, that's your mustard, mama," and this and that. You know, I don't know. I mean, the I don't know. I don't. I don't think I. I think I've seen the pepper. It looks kind of like it, but looks can be deceiving. So. I'm not going to go there, but I will say that anybody, I don't care if it's Ed Curry or a backyard grower, and they say they got a 3 million Scoville pod, I'm like, let me see the data. Because you've seen a 2 million Scoville pod, and you can see just what goes into that. To get a 3 million. I don't even know if it's possible. I, I, I don't think it is. I think, I think I, we're at the realms of possibility around about 2.2, maybe 2.4 as a realistic as an outlier and probably not as a as a yeah. uh, a freaking as, you know, as, like, as in as in like one or two on that plant happen to be at that level but dude, you know what i want to do and uh, you know and, and you might i'm gonna we might have talked about this already but i've always said man it'd be nice to start a non-profit or something to to test pods and you know you you submit a fee or whatever and you have a couple of labs tested, third party. I, I'm not involved in it. Maybe I can consult, but I don't want to be that close to it. So everybody says it's just Primo doing it, like you know, out for his own interest or something. But I, but for everybody, but make it accessible. To, yeah, to make it accessible so you know, like okay, this pod hit was this hot, and so and so tested it. Here's your breakdown breakdown of the capsaicinoids. This is the mother father. You know. And you you do that, and that third party kind of makes this list so that whenever you have all these media outlets, and this is what chaps my ass, so you got all these media outlets, and they'll have the Reaper, 2.2 million or whatever, and then the Primo. Well, if I make the list, half the time I don't make the list. They don't even know who I am. But let's say they put the Primo 1.5 or 1.4. Yeah, but, but they're, that's, they're, they're, they're comparing an outlier with an average. Comparing the like, highest ever rating yeah. of a Reaper. It happens all with the your time. Mid. Yeah. And then they'll even take what what somebody said, the creator of these pods, be it Ed or anybody. Well, like the dragon's breath. Yeah, they'll take their word for it <laughs> and they won't do their due diligence to check it out and or ask that person for that. They'll just say they'll find it from a uh a, a, online source or whatever and they'll put that number in there and and i'm just like dude that's not science and it's not even good reporting and it drives me crazy so i i would personally like to see some kind of like standard not everybody would do it but i mean it let's just but it, but if it's accessible enough, if it's cheap enough, then there's no excuse to say, oh, I just don't have the money to go to a university to get an HPLC yeah. tested, right? Which I is mean, nothing honestly, like sixty bucks, sixty bucks or something, man. Yeah. You know, sixty. Maybe it went up a little bit with the inflation, but you know. The, the other I mean, the other trick though, the other trick there. I, I, so I'll tell a little story from my my end here. I I worked with uh, a company, and I don't want to give too much away because I ended up canceling the video. I didn't put it online because of 
some of the issues here. I didn't want their business to fail. Basically, they had come up with a machine that would have allowed a home user, someone like you, someone like me, to test the Scoville rating of a chili or of a sauce. It sounds amazing, right? And it would be incredible. So I went around to their lab and we I took some of my sources. One of my sources was a seven part primo sauce that I'd made, which was I mean, even on the low end, I've never had a seven part primo that is below a million, I'm sure, right? I mean it's yeah. So I brought the sauce and that's all it was. It was primo with a little bit of vinegar to water it down a little bit. And anyway, they used this machine, they showed me all the science and that and they, they showed it with Tabasco. And I'm like, okay, that, that's impressive. I can see the number then. I know what Tabasco's rating should be. And then I brought a few of mine. I had a few of my, my sources up there. And one of them was Simpa Prima. So he, he used a bit of this, tested it, and he's like, yeah, that's 400 Scoville. I'm like, yeah, that's not 400 Scoville. <laughs> and again, it's back to what we were saying before about the different alkalinoids, right? If you're measuring yeah, right. just for one specific alkaloid, it might not be in the chinens, right? If you if you had if you had like pure primo in there, it, it should have been higher than that, way higher. Oh. Now, sauce will t- test lower than like pot. Of course, but not that much lower. I mean, it would that's, be at least 300,000, 400,000. Yeah, that's, that's the that least. Sounds kind of low. That sounds excessively low. But anyway, the best part was, so you're saying it was less heat than the Tabasco, and I've got this on video. And one oh, day, less maybe. Let's go. Oh, that, that box ain't worth shit. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. <laughs> He, so I've actually got this on video. I, basically, I said to him, come on, you're telling me this is less heat, right? So try the Tabasco. You can have the Tabasco, right? You, yeah, I can do Tabasco. He took a teaspoon of the Tabasco and I said, okay, now try this one. And he did. He was on fire. He had never had something so hot. And the yeah, reaction, yeah. I got it on camera as well. You got to go back to the drawing board here, Johnny. <laughs> but he still, he still kept on insisting that I was wrong. He had it well, then, then he had to test it tested on the HPLC. And here's the other problem. If you don't have the right uh, expertise. Uh, column, column two. Yeah, you need to have the right expertise to be able to test it, know what you're testing for and how you're testing it, and test it in a properly scientific manner. Because he tested it, and again, it came out weird. It was a very, it was still a bit higher than what he had said, but it was still ridiculously low. Like I think it was under fifty thousand. And I'm like, yeah. So what your idea? I think your idea is amazing, but again, it's there's not going to be every university that has an HPLC that will be able to do it. No, you would have to. You would have to like, like let's say Southwest Bio Labs, and then and then another, you know, or if you want to do two sources. Um, you could do that or just one lab like that. It, I, Southwest Bio Labs is, is an accredited, like very, you know, Chili Pepper Institute tests there, their pods there. And, uh, it's, it's, I've been testing there for a long time. It's inexpensive. If I would have known it was that inexpensive, I would have had the Primo tested like way early on and just been way ahead of the game. <laughs> I was thinking it was thousands of dollars. Now genetics is thousands of dollars. And I almost did that at the university with the Primo and Reaper and a few others. In fact, Ed had submitted seeds and was working with us on that. Um, okay. But but what got in the way is a different conversation. But I was creating a pepper for the university called a Raging Cajun because the mascot is a pepper, you know. So um, what got in the way is the bureaucracy of like IP intellectual property and the university wanting like, you know, I'm cool with them, but that, you know, it just wasn't economical for, for primos to fund the, the genetic side of the research and spend 12 grand and not have anything to recoup it. I mean, yeah. I would never do that for just to know. I mean, I know what I know, but I mean, that's just, that's not good business and I didn't have the money, but that was years ago. And I've sit, since discovered that it's substantially uh, less with uh, PCR machines and such, you know, to, to do that. So that would find that's something worth considering because that would find the commonality between the two peppers and wouldn't Ed want to know that they're different. Right. So, you know, you, but, but, uh, but realistically, I mean, I, I, I think that's an idealistic view, because if you consider how far along we are down the generations, how much crossing must have been done over the years? I mean, if we look at a Carolina Reaper that you're buying today, how sure are we that those seeds 
are actually pure. I mean, same thing with Simba Primo. I mean, unless we yeah, you don't you don't know, and, and 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 that that's the argument about like, okay, you get seeds from Primo, you get seeds from Ed, or let's just anybody, two different people, get Primos from Primo, get Primos from you. It's only as good as the seed in that moment in time. Yeah. Right. I mean, not the years before, but what you can access at the moment are those pods the same. So it all depends on the seed source. Uh, did, the, did the person you get the seeds from isolate that year? I mean, it's it's without that GMO marker that we were talking about that I don't believe in that GMO marker that you can see why they're pushing that so hard you know business big business big ag but at the end of the day i've just chose to just try to monetize a name keep the, the products you know making people happy and um and keep building the brand well hopefully this video goes away to uh get you more exposure around at least my viewers hey, i appreciate it i mean it's not why I'm doing it, but <laughs> oh, well, it's I mean, not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it selfish reasons. I just want to meet my chili hero. Yeah. So, Oh man, it's no. cool. Yeah, I appreciate that. I mean, you know, I don't take it. Well, I like it. I mean, I, I mean, it, it definitely, <laughs> who doesn't, I mean, it definitely makes you feel good. I mean, it's who doesn't like to be liked. Well, it's, loved, it's, it's been know, an but, inspiration. I've, I've mentioned your name so many times on my channel over the years. And some people know who you are. Some people don't. Some people learn very quickly who you are. And, uh, you know, it's ever since I, I first got properly passionate about this and started my channel um, back when the Butcher Lokia, so 2006, when the Butcher Lokia was suddenly in the Guinness World Records. And that was a couple of years after you had started F1, F2 of the 7 Pot Primo. And the Butcher Lokia got all the all the buzz in, in the Guinness World Records. And I started growing them and it was great. Yeah. And then... I got involved in the community, obviously online forums, um, you know, a lot of websites and things like that. And, and then your name started popping up everywhere and it <laughs> was, it, it was coming up in a lot of positive ways. And I was fascinated about what you were doing. Uh, a lot of people were talking, a lot of rumors going around about this, this chili of yours. And then suddenly that just got overwhelmed by the Carolina Reaper. And it's, I mean, there was a, there was a, a sniff in the air back then, even before it was called the Reaper, when it was still that code name HPB, whatever they've called it. 22, is it? Yeah, yeah. something 22. HP 22B, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, B1. So when that came out, and then that's, that started just taking over. And then there was, when there's too much marketing happening, that's normally, for me, it just feels like overcompensation. And that's kind of what it felt like at the time. It's just like there's way too much chat here and from people that nobody really knows of, right? Nobody really thinks of them as, as uh, you know, people to trust in this community and suddenly they're everywhere. And the newbies to the Chili Grown, they, they got excited about it. And every, and listen, I got, I got caught up in it as well. I'm like a little bit interested. What's this new hottest chili? But then it just kind of, yeah, it, it left a sour taste in a lot of people's um, mouths, but well, I, I got yeah. It's just yeah. And then I just well, I, carried there, on. Seven pot primo was always my go-to when it came to a proper super hot. So there's look, there's um, hot sauce in my room on the shelf in my office that has primos in it, you know. And I haven't kept up with all of them, but every company that kind of came out with a sauce that has my pepper in it, or you know, seven pot primo on the label, I've kept one. And I'm just kind of like that, you know. And I'll, 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 I'll be it. sending you one of mine. I'm doing I'm doing a special sauce that I haven't even told my channel yet, so you guys are hearing it here. But uh, it's using all seven pots, and the main awesome. seven pot is the seven pot primo. Awesome. So yeah, yeah. I'll put it on the show, man. I'll, yeah, I'll send it over. I'll I'll, send it we'll, over. Uh, we'll put some pictures on social media and and do that and give you some Excellent. a shout out, dude. But it's that I'm very proud of that. You know, a lot of times, you know, we do competitions and stuff and I'm bringing like, you know, Szechuan peppercorns and stuff and, you know, Sancho, you know, peppercorns. I'm like, here, eat this. 
because it numbs your stomach. It's a mild sedative. And it's kind of like the pickle, you know, the pickle was invented to combat the gassy effects of a cucumber. You know, I think it was the Puritans, you know, they'd have these long sermons and, you know, the kids would squirm. So they'd give their kids dill seeds and it would kind of like just chill them out a little bit. And then somebody figured out that if you put the dill seeds in the, the pickle brine that you'll have, you know, less stomach problems. Okay. So the, yeah, you can eat, a, you can eat pickle seeds with chilies too, when your stomach's burning, but it tastes like a freaking pickle factory. And you got a lot of fiber. That's like you chewing up like cellulose, you know, it's like, it's, it's hard to swallow, but it, that does work. I've gone past that and I do the Szechuan peppercorn. Well, that's that's going to ask. It sounds like you're giving us uh, some very valuable information here as we're yeah. tying up. No, no. Look, my, my biggest problem with eating soup arts is not the mouth. I can deal with that. You know, it's going to be it's over in about five, 10 minutes. Wrong. It's the yeah. stomach, the cramps that are a killer. So what are you saying? Szechuan seeds. Szechuan peppercorn, you know, it's going to numb your stomach a little bit. I mean, it might not be the be all end all, but it's going to help. So, I'm giving them out at, at shows, at festivals, you know, after they contestants eat, and they're like, God, Primo, you're a, you're, you have a conscience. <laughs> you know? I'm like, well, I, 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 well, I don't really want to hurt anybody. You know, I'm, I'm going to give like, it a go and people. I'll blame you if it doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> it's going to help. Yeah, exactly. Don't like it helps. And then Sancho is a kind of variation of that. That has a, a great flavor. It's like an orangey. It's expensive, but it's a, it's kind of coriander-ish, orange-ish. Man, I was going to make a sauce with that stuff and have it tingle and burn at the same time. But the problem is it denatures with heat. Uh, you would have to cold. You'd have to cold fill it. Maybe I shouldn't say that. But wouldn't that be something? Huh? One of my ideas I'm giving away. Yeah. Well, freaking- so you, what you could do. I mean, I so some of my sauces I do cold fill um because they are fermented so high acid and uh what i'm using is um sorry my phone's beeping away here um so because it's high acid obviously that makes it safe but the other side is for the bottling side obviously you can't hot bottle so i use star sand which is phosphoric acid basically yeah i've I've used used so instead of heat so i'll I'll do a proper sterilization and then i'll sanitize using some star sand and that that does the job so it's possible that you could do that they use that they use that in the brewery brewery. well that's that's where i come from the brewing and the brewing sort of i uh, use it i've used it i I think it's great you know um because in some sources as soon as it changes the flavor completely sometimes when you're cooking a sauce or when you're heating it beyond a certain point, especially with some of the more subtle flavors. With a super hot sauce, most of the time, it's not going to change it too much. Yeah. But with more subtle flavors, even even if there's garlic in there, sometimes that can change completely when you heat it up. So Yeah, nice yeah you're right, man. It changes equilibrium temperature, you know. Uh, I tell people, you know, like they eat a pepper and they're burning up what what do I do? You know, like, well, you wait too long, you screwed, right? But sugar, put a tablespoon of sugar in your mouth, let it liquefy, swish it around, spit it out. Bananas do not work. Don't use bananas. I never heard banana. I, I've, I've heard. Well, you know, it's. It, I guess it's good for the cramping because potassium. So I think that's the theory. Yeah, but yeah. don't eat bananas when after you've eaten the chili. Eat a banana before because when you're eating it after the chili, your mouth's so coated with oils, especially oh. the super hots. You can't get the banana to go down. <laughs> it just sticks oh. everywhere. It's. It's. Yeah, it's like peanut butter would be another bad one to do. Probably. Yeah. It's not um, good. And water. No, I don't do water or beer because it just just. I, I don't use it. anything when I'm when I'm doing it live on on camera. You just but. gotta roll with it, man. It's kind of like I tell people, it's like just ride it out. You're on a roller coaster, man. You know, yeah. You're on the airplane. They just shut the door. You're 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 gonna be at your destination, but you're gonna have to go through the flight. You're gonna have to just go through the fright and and be there don't, in the and end. Don't panic. <laughs> don't panic. What's it? It's not gonna do you. It's any not gonna good. change anything. Yeah. No, if you know, and that's why, like, if you know what you're getting into, you can kind of anticipate that. But if you don't know, then you, you can have panic attacks and stuff. And and that's kind of like a nurse asking you what's your level of pain, you know, at the hospital. And everybody's 
level of pain is different. So very subjective. So, you know, when I ask people what's hot to you and, 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 you know, is it Tabasco sauce? Is it jalapeno rings you know, that you put on your nachos? What is it? And so then I can kind of know where, where they're at. But, you know, when I first had my pepper, like popping a hole and it was narcotic, you know, it was, it was like, uh, dolphin we rush. Few, yeah. yeah. We had a few family members do it and it was just, you know, I felt high, you know, the endorphin and Keflin rush afterwards. But for the time being, it was just like, you know, fight or flight. You're, you know, you're deer in headlights and you're being chased by a bear or whatever. <laughs> but, you know, you're, uh, you're, you're going to, it, it's, it's, a bit of, it's a bit of a buzz to do Your it. I still, I still enjoy doing it now and then. I can't do it all the time because, like I said, my stomach, I, I can't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not able to throw up. So I can't do that after I've done those challenges. Yeah. And that's the problem for me. It's the stomach, right? And I'm, I'm going to be having to deal with that for the next three hours while try, it's going try, down. Try some peppercorns, man. And, I'm going to give that a go. Yeah. Prime, prime your stomach, you know, always with some bread or rice or something, potatoes, and I'd do that. But I've, you know, I've tried a pepper. proper fry up with toast and eggs grease. and bacon and Yeah, that all sounds the rest. like good grease. Yeah. I think when you get to a certain level of heat, that there's not a lot that's going to help you. <laughs> well, it's like, you know, as far as this goes, people ask me like, Hey man, you want to eat a pod? And I have a high tolerance for like sauce and heat and stuff. But sometimes I just like say, look, man, I don't want to do it. I don't want to wreck myself the rest of the day, dude. You know, I'm I got exactly the same. I don't have to prove my manhood or my, <laughs> Like maybe my reputation precedes me, but I don't have to prove that to anybody. You know, I mean, I eat, I can eat hot, but I don't necessarily want to. Like, you know, Johnny Scoville, I mean, he'll carry around a tincture of like extract or, or you know, tincture, you know, and he'll, you know, he'll just, and I'm like, dude, you're crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, he, he's on another planet. How often you do this? Oh, every four hours. Wow. You know, but uh, that's okay because the world needs that stratification. You know, you it's need like the extremes, right? <laughs> absolutely. The world, the pepper community needs the Martha Stewart's cooking chilies in their kitchen. And it needs the freaking League of Fire cats doing what they're doing because it, you know, it's, it's fascinating. And I love the polar opposites of both. So I don't think it has to be one or the other. You know, it just it, it can be all encompassing, you know, and, and, and draw, maybe that fringe element draws people into the, the peppers. And the, then there's a place for everyone. And that, that's what right. people need to remember. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my take on it. I mean, you know, uh, on that on that note. So last thing before we go, because uh, yeah, I've, I've taken up so I, much of your time. Look, I tell, so you, like I tell you, man, I don't know. A lot of time I'll talk twenty minutes. Yeah, you told me twenty minutes. <laughs> but I'm having a good time, awesome. and, I, and, I, and you're 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 a good interviewer, and you're a good person, so it's fun. I appreciate that. One one question. <laughs> so uh, I feel I feel bad for saying this one, but did you have you ever met uh, the FBI a fire breathing idiot, Ted Barris? I've never met him. You know uh, of him, I'm guessing. I know of him. Um, we we kind of like had a little dance of, of like love hate for a while. I don't know, hate's a bad word. Oh, uh, he he, but he, he got was, on a lot of people's wrong sides for some. Yeah, reason. well, it was like he he lo- like Ted was one of the first I think to review the primo, and um, and was really very nice, you know, very 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 good supporter. Did some videos and stuff, and then at some point he went the other way, and then um, was kind of like. Just spoke down on me a little bit, you know, like he was trying to create drama. I think I did see some yeah, of those videos. It, it was like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with him, but, and then he kind of flipped back. So I don't know what he's doing now. I haven't seen him a long time, but you I'd know. love to know what he's up to. I, I know he went through a few issues, um, drug related, I believe. Oh, um, sorry to hear that. He's going through yeah. some tough times. Um, well, you know, and I don't want to kick anybody while they're down. No, no, no he, I feel, that's what I say. He, I feel bad for saying something. I mean, he was, he was big on the internet. He, he, he got he chewed up big, and spat he, out. Right. He was big on Primo and he kind of like, like I said, you know, but I've had 
I mean, look, man, I'm, I'm friends with Jim Duffy and he was, he's, he's my friend. He buys product from me, but he went, he went the other way too, you know? And like, that's okay. It's okay. But I think with Ted, it was like at the time we're on Facebook and it's probably one of those nights drinking me drinking wine and, and, and he said something and I said something. And then he, you know, he, he's kind of like kind of sending towards me like, Oh, little primo and his pepper problem something like that you know and i was just like man (laughs) so it's okay though but he's we're i like i don't want to start any rumors but i hadn't talked to him in a long time and i hope he's well if he is watching i I doubt he is but i hope he's doing well i hope he's he's in a good place the last few videos i saw of his was it was a little sad I mean, he was he was big in the community. He did, he did some stupid things like bong ripping the Carolina Reaper. Whoa, yeah, he did. That yeah, that did. could not have been good for him. Um. Man, you know anybody that's in our business mm. that's worked with with uh, cleaning a kettle or a, a bucket with oh. with soap and hot water after making all just pouring hot it down sauce. the sink and then the return of the yeah. gases. Oh, yeah. wow! Could you imagine smoking that stuff? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, dude, he's, that's crazy. But I love, I love that. I love that he did that. I mean, it's crazy. Just something different. Him, but I, but <laughs> I mean, Ozzy snorted ants too. You know, I mean, like you know, there's people snorting lines of of a uh, pepper powder. I think it's preposterous. It's crazy. But does look? Does it have to make sense and be logical to be beautiful? It, it's their expression of uh, right. entertainment. Right. It all, right. it's, there's a place for everything in this world. If right. there's an audience for it and that's what uh, you want to do, then do your thing. And it's got, you know, it's like one of those things where I guess people just keep, keep trying to up the ante, you know, with this, the, the way the internet is and social media, like you keep ant- just stacking it, you know. And um, you won't see me doing it. Um, but if you want to do it within legal reasons, and you're not going to kill yourself, you know, like the the jackasses of the world and the Stevos and all them. I, lo- I love I love watching and listening to Stevos podcasts and all that stuff. You know, hey, go for it. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's, it's not my scene. I mean, I run a chili yeah. channel. People would assume that that's what I do. There's a couple of videos where I have some of my family around and we'll talk some rubbish and eat hot chicken yeah. wings with hotter and hotter sauces. Oh. Yeah, you look, look I, I made a mental note earlier. You were talking about Frank's. So my wife makes, you know, from scratch chicken wings, right? And she bases it with Frank's. But then she puts Swampadelic, you know, our sauce. And then she's she's got some kind of like, usually it's red habanero powder, like Caribbean red. It's nothing like Primo powder on it. We might do some for special peeps that come over. But for the family, she keeps it kind of PC like that. And they're hot. I mean, they're hotter than any, you know, wings that you get probably in the store or, or like some places, but, but they have great flavor. But the Franks is, I mean, I'm not refuting. It's a, it's a great base. I, honestly, a lot of these- I, I use Franks instead of salt. So I use Tabasco as yeah, well yeah. instead of salt. Yeah, I've got Tabasco. Like, you know, they're right down the road from us and they're just, they're like, they're like Disney. You know, it's like, I've been out there. It's just amazing what they, they've got going on you know as far as the wealth and everything but you know i've got that in the fridge people hate on tobacco I've got it. but people yeah but people, I, people I, are so quick to say it's rubbish it's like there's a place for it i will not have anything other than tabasco on oysters if i'm eating oysters it has yeah, to have tabasco yeah, same sauce. here same, same here now look I'll, I'll make a cocktail sauce and when i'm having raw oysters i'll do tabasco and lemon, I have horseradish, and we do like over here. It's a little different over here. It's not like they do a mignette. Is it mignette? Um, uh, in Louisiana, we do like a, a cocktail sauce, which is like ketchup, horseradish, um, Tabasco, Worcestershire. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I put this kind of Cajun sauce. It's called Cajun Power. It's like a garlic sauce. It's really nice. awesome. And they're down the road too, and, and we make a little dipping sauce, and it goes on a, a, a freaking saltine, the oyster. And that sounds you know, sounds delicious. I'm gonna have and, to come. And, I'm gonna have to come around. I, I am. Yeah. I'm planning on doing a bit of a tour around America as part of my channel. 
at some yeah, point in the on, future. Man. I'd love to pop in and, and say hi. So. Work work with me. You're welcome over here, man. You're welcome. Excellent. Come by. Yeah, and, and like, I, know you, I know you're busy with a few projects, and well, uh, that's, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing the results of that. But uh, once that's all done, hopefully you have a little bit of quiet time. So Yeah. Well, I'm excited about what's going on. I, I I'm excited. It sounds I amazing. can't say a lot about it. It would be great if we could, but I'm sure people will hear look, about it soon enough. Look, it's going to be a great surprise. The people involved in it are top-notch. I, I love them. Um, Careful, don't say I, any I more than on, that because you're going to let no, it, no, no, let I it out. I was, on the fence, I was on the fence a long time with this decision, and it, it dates prior to the pandemic. I mean, there was discussion. And um, I'm glad I'm in, we're involved in it. I think it's. I think the Chile community are gonna. I'm gonna love it. So I, I'll leave I, it. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be, oh. yeah, something I definitely want to partake in. Yeah, let, let's leave it at that. Yeah, leave it at that, man. Because you know <laughs> it, it's gonna be soon enough. I guess next year. I don't know. I mean, it's got to be. We'll just say that. Excellent. Listen, I don't want to keep you too much longer. I know you've got to go pick up your son. Yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to go. Hudson's getting, let's see, it's 110. Hudson's going to be home at 2. i got to run to the post office. Got to bring some orders. I mean, I do, I, I'm do. i Mr. Self-Fulfillment. You know, you're looking at the, the, the production person, the, the distributor. We, we, have, we have so much in common, honestly. Behind me here yeah. is my packing room. Where all my sources yeah. are sitting behind me on shelves, and that's where I do my packing every every week. Goes down to the post office once a week, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Same here, man. Look, I I, I pack the, the the everything myself. I, I didn't do it last time, but I normally sometimes I write a note on the outside, you know, and just thanks for your support. I had to stop doing that. I used to, but I had to stop doing that. It's, it's a lot just, of work. It's a bit tough. Yeah, it's, yeah well, I didn't get to do and it. And also like my handwriting is shocking. <laughs> <laughs> I just primo. I just come up with a nifty signature, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I ended up uh, I ended up um, doing a Black Friday sale, and we did pretty well, and, and that's good. So in this day and age, we're, and I'll leave it at this, where the world is so crazy – and money's hard to come by. Um, we haven't gone up on our prices. Um, I, I really empathize and sympathize with people that have it rough. And I'm grateful that you're able to, you know, support us and, and enjoy our product. So, you know, we'll just keep doing it, man. Yeah, and go, go check out Primo's website. It's uh, what's it, primopeppers.com, right? Primos Peppers, P R I M O S P E P P E R S dot com. I'll leave a link down below in the video. So yeah, make and sure people can get to for it. my international peeps that love us, um, I'm going to work on getting the website in order to where we can accept. Well, I'll chat with you. I'll, I'll give you some advice, uh, especially around the customs decorations and that. Yeah, there's a few bits yeah. of details that you need to fill in there that I can help you with. It yeah, some took of like a lot trials, of research. <laughs> trials and tribulations with that. And also there's a newsletter on our website in the contact section. Even if you're international, sign up for it. You'll get our, our newsletters. And when we, we open up the doors for y'all to purchase our product, that'll be uh, an instant notification. Excellent. And I look forward to trying your sources and uh, letting people know what I think. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the time today. That's been awesome. Thank you. Well, you've been awesome, dude. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Best of luck. God bless.